What's going on everybody? Welcome to Blind Power. Today, I want to talk about the iPhone 10. So, I have the iPhone 10 here. It's almost been six months since it's released. It was released in November, so December, January, March, April. And we're in April. It's soon five months, but I'm going to do the review um, because of the fact that it's I, it's been long enough where I can give you uh, my six month review, essentially, uh, five, five months with the iPhone 10. So far, the gestures, so when you swipe up, swipe up, and the Face ID, um, it's been it's been really useful having the Face ID. Uh, you know, if you have your hands wet, you can just uh, put your phone in front of you and it'll work, right? Now, the gestures have become fluent to me, so swiping up, um, and then swiping up again to go to go down to close the app. So swipe up to the middle, app switcher. Um, the only thing, the only gripe I have right now is essentially how you close apps and you have to hold down a little bit to get them to wiggle and then close them. That's the only thing I changed. But uh, the gestures I'm getting used to completely. I feel like um, it, it's it's become native to me. Like it's become subconscious on how the phone works on the gestures. And you know the, the the phone body size has become really comfortable. So you know those are the, the logistics aside. Now let's get into the software. So to turn my voiceover, I triple click the power button instead of the home button, and I get zoom in, voiceover, and my shortcuts, which is what I have currently here. Now voiceover gestures are actually kind of weird, but they're they're very fun and they're interesting. So turn my voiceover. So I like, uh, so music. if I open up music, for music. example. Music, library, what's new in Apple Music, continue, continue, library, heading. So I'm in music and then if I want to close it, Doc. The, the vibration and the little pop noise. Messages, one on red message. At music, active, music. So music. for the app switcher, the little three pops, uh, it comes in handy, but I feel like they could have just left that at the second pop. So one pop to go home, two pops to go to the... To the... Added. Hey. Okay, shut up. Voice over. Uh, so, you know, they should have made it instead of three pops. I think they should have made it one pop to go home like we already have. Screen tip. Shut up, Siri. Oh, voice over, whatever your name is. Um, and then two, 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 you know, go to the up switcher. Why three? I feel like... Um, you know, when you when you don't use voiceover, you can swipe up a little bit, just you know, swipe up and hold, and there you are. And you can do the same with voiceover. Why do we have to wait to the third click? I feel like it makes it a little more longer, but you know. Screen tip. Apps, music, act, music, act, messages. One. Now music, I, I do action. feel like. Shut up. Swipe up with three fingers to close. Thank you. All right. This thing talks so much. So. I feel like the, the the you know closing apps, for example, the one single pop and then swipe up. That's much better than without the voiceover. We have to hold and you have to wait. So certain things are better with voiceover on the iPhone 10. Messages. One on that message. Oh, shut up. Okay, I don't know. It just talks about it. So I feel like uh, we need to you know have like the second pop for the app switcher instead of the third. Um, and I feel like the the multitasking closing apps is really clean. Everything is so well thought of. So, you know, I like that accessibility is super native on here. Screen tip. So those are the pops that I'm talking about, and um, I like it. And now the gestures are the weird thing, so. Page two and five. Page two and five. Adjustable. Notifications. So. Earlier today. I can never get the notifications to go smoothly. Like it, I, it always takes me like two tries to get them open. Messages. Hey. One on red message. Um, Double tap to open. Should I have voice over? Or, yeah, there you go. So I feel like that's really, really intuitive. However, you know, the, the, the little problem with the, with the app switcher when you open it, it's like the third click. Screen tip. The third click, I feel like. Um, Apple could improve on that, but besides that, it's been pretty good. Um, you know, voiceover has been the same essentially. Eight forty three location tracking one of four bars three of three Wi Fi bar one of four bars signal strength status bar item. 
Now, there's one thing I do miss um, on the iPhone 10 compared to like the iPhone 7 Plus that I had previously. I don't see my carrier, so T-Mobile Wi-Fi, you know, whatever, because I have something called Project 5, so I, can, I switch between companies. My phone connects to um, my phone connects to Sprint, T-Mobile, and US Cellular, right? So I should be able to see what company I'm on, but I can't unless I bring down the control center. 99% cap dot service 843 status bar item notifications. I can't get it now. 90 social folder nine notifications. So Appear today heading camera TV notifications. So it's harder to bring up the control Messages. center sometimes. Message. And that's kind of the gripe I have with this. There we go. Switch three of three Wi-Fi bar, one of four bars, location tracking on, image, status bar, location tracking on, image, 844, status bar item, 98% battery power, not charging. And even status then, I can't see my, my, my uh, phone company that I'm connected to through the, I have to lock my phone and do it that way. And Messages. Sometimes it won't even show up there, so, you know, this is just a little nitpicky stuff. Um, Accessibility short. Voice I button. use voiceover primarily when I'm when I like when my eyes adapt to like the outside or when I'm like, dang, I need to read this and it's very long. But you know, the iPhone 10 has been it's been really good. I like the I like the the size of the phone. You know, it's a bigger screen with a smaller body. It's really good. Um, the notch, I really I mean with the voiceover, I tend to notice it more. When I'm like reading something in voiceover and I want to know the time or whatever voiceover, I notice it more because I have to be more aware of the gestures, right? Compared to when I'm not using voice, when I'm using Zoom, I can care less because it's just one part that's obstructing my vision. But it's not uncomfortable. Um, it's not different. It's just you have to, I have to change my my ways of using the phone, but I've gotten used to it. In my opinion, if you are considering getting an iPhone 10, right now it's the worst time to get an iPhone because we're halfway through the season already. But for the iPhone 9 or the iPhone X2, whatever app is going to call the next iPhone, um, wait for that because really the iPhone 10 is good, but the next round Apple will have it much better and it's like like seven months away. So, I mean, it depends on how desperate you are to upgrade, to be honest. If you want to get the 8 or 8 Plus and you don't care about the notch and you don't want something new, then get it now. But, you know, because I, I think the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus are going to go away once uh, the iPhone 9. Rumor says, I, I guess, it's going to be like the iPhone 10. But it's just going to be the bigger iPhone 9 Plus and the smaller iPhone 9. But they're going to be with like the iPhone 10 design. So, um, this is probably going to be the last generation where you're going to see the typical iPhone body. If you want to follow Apple stuff, you know, rumors and stuff, go to Everything Apple Pro. That dude is awesome. Uh, he kills it in the uh, rumors and leaks game. He'll tell you what's coming in iOS 12. You know, he'll tell you uh, what the iPhone 10 rumors are for the next generation. And none. Yeah, so this has been my my five months with my iPhone 10 review. I was going to do six months, but nah, I'd rather do it early just because... I think it's been long enough where I can tell you guys what I like and what I don't like. The cameras are amazing for OCR technology, optical character recognition, and tap tap C. Uh, usually, you know, tap tap C, the problem I've had is sometimes the person's like, the text is blurry and I have to take it again uh, with the iPhone 7 Plus. With this one, doesn't matter what situation I'm in, I can take a picture. Uh, sometimes I use tap tap C to. Uh, identify stuff and it's really fast with tap tap c because essentially the, the camera's so sharp that tap tap c you know can get the, the person looking at the picture can see what's there you know immediately because there's, there's no blurriness there's no no they can see it right off the bat they can read it off write it down and send it back um the message with tap tap c so you know i i, I think the iphone uh cameras the dual cameras have a lot of potential and um, glad to see that Apple's actually working on uh, really cool projects. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video just as I enjoyed making it. Comment, rate, subscribe. You know what to do. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. 
Hit the subscribe button and remember to enable the notification bell to get all notifications of blind power uploads. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.